Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. So today we're back on the pay to win account and we're looking at the Cosmic Altar. So we have a brand new de debuff up. That is the amount of damage from the Devourer receives from all sources other than normal attacks is reduced by 80%. So that's right guys, we're gonna go through a couple team comps with normal attacks because essentially that is what we're going to use. So of course we're gonna go straight to Saurus guys. Saurus an absolute diesel when it comes to the team comps, we're going to go with Warwick, of course, for the really, really solid debuffs. We're going to go with Taylene, and we're going to go with Mortis to go ahead and buff up this team. So very interesting team. Again, this really relies on buffing up Saurus, allowing him to do normal attacks. And then, of course, Taylene doing normal attacks as well. Second is going to be interesting because we're running Lucretia. So, so right back to Lucretia. Drez on this one. So a hero that we don't really see that much. We're going to run them um, backline. And then we're looking at Rain, of course, for the big, big buff again. Lorzen for the increase in the damage and ultimate abilities. And then, unfortunately, I don't have him built. But usually Baden you run in here. But we're going to go with Izold. And I'm going to see exactly how these team comps play out. Again, the normal attacks, everything short of the normal attack is... Got an 80% reduction in these fights. So I'm hoping we can put up some big numbers with Saurus here, allowing him to really, really maximize this damage because all the unique attacks, all the special attacks, everything of that nature are getting a massive, massive debuff. So I know a lot of players have been saying they're not putting up that much damage in this fight, which again, that is kind of the premise of the fight. But not too bad so far. I mean, we're at 365. Still got 33 seconds left. So we're definitely going to do well over half a million. Maybe even three quarters of a million. Saurus went down, though. He got the insanity buff. So he died pretty quick. So now the damage is all on Taylene at that point. And look at that, guys. 855. Almost 900 out of that battle. So very, very cool. Eyes old with a big buff here. Remember, we're focused on the normal attacks. With the normal attacks, um, they do get the, the big buff. So the ultimate ability of Lorzen does help right here when it comes to damage. So nullifying some of that 80% reduction we get, as well as Rain Guys gives a 30% bonus to attack, allowing us again to negate some of the, the, the offsetting of the damage that we see. So we have a couple different team comps to go through here. It's going to be interesting to see exactly which ones really, really work in here. So boom, we're currently the highest. So, so 1.1 there for our first attack. So in this one, we're actually gonna swap out Warwick, or let's, let's actually pull these all back. So this one, we're gonna go with Saurus. We're gonna go with Mortis and Rose. So Rose, of course, is gonna follow Saurus. Which I think she's gonna follow Saurus. That's usually how it works. Um, and then we're also gonna put Rain in this combination, and we're gonna couple it again with Taylene. So no, um, I was thinking no twins boost in here, but you know what? Let's go, let's drop Saurus out of here. Let's see what the twins can do with this combination. I, th there's a ton of different combinations up, um, a bunch of different places. So I think Rose is probably going to follow Taylene. So I want to see exactly how this team comp is going to work. Second one, we're going to run with Saurus and we're going to run with um, Warwick for the debuff. So Saurus and Warwick, this one, we're going to go with Rowan. So surprising enough, Rowan in here. I'm going to go with Wukong because, again, he has a ton of regular attacks. And then we're going to drop Belinda in here again to see where we're going to do. So Rose is following Taylene. So Taylene's going to have much, much stronger normal attacks, which is what I'm hoping out of this team comp, that, that we can make this work. So Mortis buffing up Rain, buffing up Taylene, um, hopefully buffing up Rose. There we go. So Rose has got the buff now. And really, really seeing the damage that they can do in here. But it doesn't look like anything where what they were doing with Saurus, guys. Saurus is such a monster. He just destroys so many aspects of AFK Arena. Saurus can just absolutely decimate. But I mean, we're at 400 already. Not sure if this team's going to do a little bit more damage and the next team's going to do, um, 
or, the, or this team's not going to do as much. Maybe the next team will pick up the slack on this, but Soros doesn't have the buffs in the next team. But let's see what Wukong does, guys. Because remember, when he breaks into the minions, he's got a ton of normal attacks there. There we go. So there's all of his adds. There's all of his minions. And again, an interesting swap in here with Rowan because we're not too particular on the, the ultimate abilities that we're doing here. And I think Wukong probably needs the, uh, the super cycle in here. Yeah, so not even close on that attempt, guys. All right, so let's take this first team and let's go ahead. Let's, I'm going to drop off Taylene and I want to see how this is going to work. So I want to do the old one. Let's drop these guys out uh, with the Soros Rose combo with them linked and then buffed, which I think will work pretty well. This one will actually swap in. Let's see who else we got. So we got Damon in this one, which is going to be interesting with. Raku and Silas. So we got Silas, we have Raku in here, which again is going to be interesting in himself. And then this also runs Drez. We're going to swap out Izold there. We're going to put in Warwick. And let's see what this one does, guys. So I'm thinking with the, the Saurus Rose combo, especially with these super high buffs from the twins, from Rain, from Mortis, I think this team's going to do a ton of damage, guys. Remember, Soros gets his five stacks up. He's got the big, big attack boost there from Rose. But ultimately, he's not getting the Warwick debuff. So I know the numbers are adding up very, very quickly. But ultimately, guys, that is the power of Warwick as well. His bone breaking ability or bone, bone breaker um, allows these heroes to do so much damage it's it's kind of crazy the amount of damage they can do so even here guys not as high as i thought it would be let's see what this uh, second team can do and again warwick here we got drez back here doing a lot of damage so it doesn't look too bad so far So 150 still seems like that first team is going to be, and I know a lot of people just take Raku off of the ultimate ability, um, which they just created another Isabella where nobody wants to use him because of the ultimate ability. So definitely not too much damage in that one. 160 million there from Soros. 176 from Drez. So Drez is putting up some very, very solid numbers here. All right, guys, let's look at, you know what? Let's go ahead and drop Baden in here. I know he's not built, but some of the team comps are running Baden with Silas and then Lucy. So we'll go ahead and we'll swap Lucy in here with Rain and the twins. So this is going to be interesting because essentially the twins are going to super cycle what Baden can do, which I might just swap it this way because Baden just being a little bit on the weaker side than the second one they have. Um, Taylene, Wu Kong, and then of course we got some buffers. We have Mortis in there. Um, they have Rain in there, which again, what I like to see, I guess it works. Um, and then Warwick. So let's see what this one looks like. So it looks like Drez is putting out a lot of damage. Lucy's putting out significant damage. And then also, um, I'm not sure about Baden. I, I know Baden, a lot of people have said, is doing a lot of damage in here, which this really is not a fair test by any means. But I just want to see, even at Legendary Plus, exactly what it looks like with Baden. And Baden would be built a lot higher. Um, he was kind of lower on the priority list, but ultimately, with the new hero, uh, Desira, coming out, we're, we're going to wait and build her first. It seems like overall doing some decent damage. And it's funny because if you noticed, um, Rose is actually following Silas, which is a funny combination to see. But still 336 there. Let's see this combination. I'm, I'm going to be interested to see. So again, we got Mortis for the buffs. We got Warwick for the debuff. We have Rain for the debuff. Wukong and Taylene just doing a ton of damage here to the boss. It's 
coming in a little bit short, it looks like, so far. But 250 there, we crossed the line very, very quickly. It seems like a lot of these are just going to be a majority of the, the buffers that, that you're using. So running the Mortis, running the Rain, um, running Warwick, it, it seems like they are going to be the strongest combination. And look at that, guys. 678 there. Let's see what we got. So this one, 173. So again, Baden, 89 million with Baden being as weak as he is in there. And then look at that, guys. Taylene, 411. Wukong, not, not too bad. So it seems like maybe if we dropped out Wukong, put in Baden in this combination, it would work pretty well. I, I think that would be a pretty solid combination. All right, guys. So we got, I think, one more here. So our final one, again, interesting combination. So this one actually runs Baden with Estrilda for the buff. Again, it runs Ainz, which... Kind of surprising, but we do have Mortis and we have Rain in this one. So a very, very interesting setup there, which I noticed that I don't see any of these that are actually running Grez. So I, I don't see I don't see any of them running Grez. So Warwick for the debuff. We're gonna run Wukong in here with Taylene. It's gonna run a copy of a Drez in here. And I'm thinking if we run Rose in here, Rose is going to follow Taylene. But we'll run Silas in here for the buff. That'll do it. Hopefully this is going to be it, guys. I don't know exactly how much damage Ainz is going to do without having that giant massive ultimate ability. But Estrilda is providing him a buff. We have Rain in here with the debuff. We have Mortis with the buff. So overall, a pretty strong team, I think. And of course, Baden, it seems like we're going to have to build Baden. We've even seen him showing up in some of the Twisted Realm bosses. Um, so a hero that was ultimately not used for anything once upon a time. It, it seems like even without a rework, they, they found a way to bring him back at least a little bit in, in some of the aspects of AFK Arena. So 286 on that poll. And this one, it seems like Drez, we're going to have to link up with the Twins. It seems like that's going to be a strong combination in here. And this is a lot of damage, a little bit of debuff, but we don't have the haste in here. I feel like that's really the part of this that, um, that really, really carries it is a strong haste buff. But so far, we've been number one every single time we've done the Chasmic Altar. So I'm not sure how many players are really, really trying to push it on the server. But on our server, we've been number one here every time. So I think 1.1 is still going to be the best run. So let's look at that one. So Ainz did put up a considerable 1.67. But look at that, guys. It seems like they are going to be awesome. Soros as well is going to be very, very strong for the Cosmic Altar in this event. So we're almost done. We have two more pillars and then that one will be done. Guys, so that'll do it for our team comps for today. Hopefully some of the heroes that you have um, that I used, you can actually see and you do have them. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.